you need popsicle sticks. You can use this side or you can use the fat ones. You know the fat ones I choose when I pick your names? You can use either kind. All I have are the little ones. So we have two, four, six, eight, nine popsicle sticks. You're also going to need a few rubber bands. You will either need a bottle cap or a spoon, not both. And then, of course, your projectile, which in this case is a marshmallow. Okay? This is the easiest, absolutely easiest catapult to make that I know of. So you're going to put two aside. You're going to stack the seven in a pile straight so that when you're done, it looks like that. Just a little pile, right? You're going to take a rubber band and put it around one end. I know that's confusing, isn't it? Okay, put it around one end. So now you've got that together. And you're going to take another rubber band and do the same thing to the other side. All right, so when you're done, you have that. Not very exciting. Not looking very catapultish, is it? No. no, it will in a minute. Now you take two and you do the same thing, only for these two, we're only going to put the rubber band on one end. So that when you're done, you have something that looks like a little duck's mouth that can open up. Okay, you see how that opens up? Right? This goes in here. And this is the tricky part because you have to use a rubber band. And I might want to loosen that up a little bit. Sometimes you want this not too loose but not too tight either and it's a it's a little game figuring out exactly how tight or how loose you want this to be you don't want it so tight that you can't open it up but you don't want it so loose that it falls apart the first time you put this in so you put that in and you're going to use your rubber band and this is the hardest part i think to get this on here, you want it in the middle. Now is it looking more like a catapult? A little bit. Yeah. Okay. I'm actually going to put one, I think I want to put one around the front. It's sliding a little bit. So let's put this around the front if I can get it there because we don't want it to slide we want it to stay right where it should be again pretty much in the middle so now I can either use a spoon or I can use a bottle cap I'm gonna use the bottle cap and I'm gonna put a little drop of hot glue on it um, I've got the hot glue gun I'm just like your mom when you want to use the hot glue and you put it on this end oh now you're seeing a catapult and give it just a second to dry hot glue does not take very long to dry I have the low temperature hot glue gun so it doesn't take very long to dry and then you just let it rip all right that makes sense okay